What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be pulling apart the Kodiak to start getting the engine out of this so then we can throw it in there. However, I started kind of looking at this engine compared to the lower uh, case of the Wolverine engine and there are a couple discrepancies that we're going to be able to work with, with one of them being the water pump, the other one being the oil cool cooler, the oil, oil cooling system. But anyways, let's get to it. Let's start tearing this thing down because I want to get the plastics off of it and then go pressure wash the engine and get off all the dirt and grease and everything that's on it. So then it's a nice clean engine that we can work with. So let's get all the plastics off. <laughs> So I got the four wheeler out here. It scared me for a second because it started to smoke, but I remember I sprayed everything down with uh, engine degreaser earlier. So that's what that was. But otherwise, everything is pretty much opened up. We probably will have to take the back fender off with the back rack at some point and for sure this guy in the air box. But for now, I just want to get it cleaned up the best that we can because there's all this crud here. And I don't want to deal with that while uh, I'm pulling it out and putting it in. Anyways, <laughs> so let me pressure wash this. I don't think I'm going to put that on camera because you guys have seen me pressure wash things. You probably have pressure washed things before. So I will show you the finished product. Here's all that nastiness, everything in there. This side's cleaner because, well, you got this whole case here, which we're going to have to change out this case too. But all in the name of fun right anyways let me go ahead and pressure wash this and we'll catch you back in the garage so this is the last time this four-wheeler is gonna well the engine's gonna be running while it's in this four-wheeler next time it's gonna be running will be in the wolverine however i did notice starting to uh it's dripping oil from here -ish. One of these fittings, which isn't a bad thing because since we're taking it out and we're going to put it into a whole nother unit, we're going to go through everything, check all the fittings, tighten everything down, make sure it doesn't leak into oil in the new engine. We're in the new, same engine, new unit. So, all right, let's get it back in the garage. Let me clean up that area a little bit and, uh, Drain the oil, drain the coolant, and then just start undoing everything. So let's get to it. But we're probably going to wait for it to cool down before we drain everything. So I'll catch you guys. So I'm going to go into a time lapse of undoing everything, and I'll get back with you guys. Besides being dirty, the oil is actually uh, fairly clean. Not milky or anything, so don't have to worry about coolant in the oil. So that's awesome. So yeah, draining the oil right now. Next will be the coolant. So I'm just going to end up taking the coolant line off right here to drain the coolant. So this way it'll drain at the lowest point. And we'll start taking out the exhaust, which I'm going to hit with PB Blaster. And then... So we don't break any exhaust bolts then just start removing all this stuff so all right let me go wipe on my hand go get the coolant out but i think i need a container for that so because i don't want to mix it with oil because we might try and reuse the coolant all right let me go get that stuff all right see how much of a mess this makes
All right, so we'll let that uh, finish draining overnight. Oil's all drained, and then tomorrow we'll come back, start unbolting things. I'm gonna spray this some more with PB Blaster. Uh, maybe not so it doesn't drip into there, but that I sprayed that quite a few times, the exhaust bolts, because anybody who's ever done engine work, we all can relate to the whole engine exhaust bolt or exhaust bolts breaking so we gonna let this drip overnight exhaust bolts and then throttle body and then a bunch of little wiring and stuff but otherwise it does look like we're going to have to change this case out just because these bolts here for the water pump don't all match up specifically this one right here this one this one's actually the drain for it yeah, so this one's a drain, it looks like, and this one's drain is underneath here. So it's not in the same location, but that shouldn't matter. However, what does matter, the wiring for the stator and stuff, this is all that wiring. This wiring, none of that matches. So we are gonna have to take off this case cover to change out the stator. So we're gonna do that once we have the engine out. And what I was talking about the oil, filter this one is a hard line where it runs to a air to oil cooler and this one is run with the uh the coolant runs through there so i'm wondering if which we call it i can either swap out this head here or am i just going to reroute the hoses and use this t in somehow get this to work in there and just remove the oil cooler we'll see we'll see let's first get this engine out so i will catch back with you guys tomorrow So I went to go take a break, let the penetrating oil soak in some more. Tried it a couple more times. I had a feeling this was gonna happen, and it did, because then I went to go hit it with the, um, just a regular wrench, and uh, it snapped. But, good news, exhaust is off. Now we just have to finish taking out these bolts for the final engine mount. That engine is ready to, sorry, the lights. That engine is ready to uh, come out besides the drive shafts. So I think we're going to have to 
undo the front differential because it might be easier to undo that and pull that forward to undo this drive shaft and pull it off the back one. So let's go ahead and undo the front differential. Looks like it is that bolt and the bolt on the other side and that's all that's holding the front diff. So yeah, we'll undo the front diff, pull it forward to undo the drive shaft and then this way we can pull it off the rear drive shaft and we will deal with this bolt later. I might have to go get a nut in a welder and I'll just weld on a nut to it and back it off. So we'll be doing that and a few other changes like changing out this or taking this case off to change it because we have to change these wires anyways. So let's first get the engine out. I'm gonna go move the differential and pull the engine, so. So there is the two bolts and then there's just one long bolt you can see right there and then a nut for it on this side where the wrench is sitting that you have to undo so with that you're going to need two wrenches just undo it so let's get that off and then we can pull the differential forward all right we'll scratch that idea because then i realize you won't be able to get the bolt out because of the control arm where it's at for the front differential so we're going to have to go for the rear yay because looking at the rear there's this bolt right here which is able to come out and then this bolt right here right there that will be able to come out and then that should loosen the rear diff so we're going to take the rear diff off yay okay so let me get that off and i'll figure that out later anyways let me get that off slide that back and then we'll pull this out so, so i took off the bolt from the lower control arm just the one and then pried it down enough to be able to remove this bolt that was in here from the differential. Slide it out. And then there's one more up in here underneath the fuel tank that you can get to. Where is it? Like right there-ish, somewhere. I think you can see it. And then you pull the differential back just enough. Where it's going to clear from there. And then we should be able to just pull this out now. So let me clear my area. Actually, I'm going to go get a piece of cardboard to sit right here for the engine to sit onto in case it leaks anymore. So I'm going to go set everything up. <laughs> it is out boys and girls i think girls watch the channel it says it says like six percent of you are women so anyways engine is out as you can clearly see frame is bare on the kodiak so little tips and tricks differential because that's the thing i have not seen one person mention that you got to remove the rear differential at least pull it back and then you can remove everything. So either rear diff or front diff, diff, not def. Rear diff, diff was a little bit easier to undo and pull back. Uh, the previous owner had like this funky hitch thing on here, which he bent the crap out of this frame. Yeah, this frame, because you can see here, this thing is like twisted. This here, that frame is damaged there. And I'm pretty sure the front frame is I mean, it's still decent, but the frame on this probably isn't the best anymore. But you can still throw an engine here and rip it around. Like a motorcycle engine. Nah, I don't know if we're going to do that. But anyways, I have the engine. Man, this engine is so much cleaner than that one. We might do a deep cleaning on this before we put it in, but otherwise I think I'm going to end the video here because this one I think was pretty lengthy. It feels pretty lengthy. My hair is probably a mess. I could feel it. So otherwise, I'm going to throw this guy back together 
just to have it together and then get outside so we have more room to work in here. Clean up this engine for the next video. And then next video is going to be swapping over parts for this engine, throwing it in there, hooking it all up, and we'll be good to go. Sorry, the camera was probably just pointing that way for a quick second. So yeah, cleaning up that engine, moving parts from here to there, and then throwing it in there. So hopefully you guys are enjoying this video or this series. If you are, big thumbs up. And uh, I can't wait to get that thing running. Maybe this weekend we'll see. Or no, not because I have to order that one part. So yeah, I'm going to start ordering parts. Next video is going to be swapping things over and putting it in. So anyways, I'll quit rambling. Hopefully you guys enjoy. Big thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you doing? Subscribe. Because uh, I'll have more projects like this. Rangers coming soon, so be sure to hit the subscribe button if you haven't done so already. I greatly appreciate it, and I will catch you guys later. Bye.